WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Five region championships tonight in the coverage area. We start with a powerhouse program in softball. Estill County has won three straight titles and eight out of the last ten, dating back to when the Lady Engineers were in the tenth region. They'd have to get by Caitlin Estevez, though, tonight. Estevez threw a no-no last night in the semis. Bottom one, no score. McKenzie Angel back up the box. That scores Kennedy Flynn from third. Esto up one nothing. Next batter, Taylor Wiseman. Hard chopper gets through the infield. McKeeley Muncy adds another run, part of a six-run first inning for Esto. A few innings later, Zoe Deaton hits a chopper. It's b -b bobbled. Muncy scores again. Jenkins down to its... Final out in the seventh, Estevez pops it way up, and it's caught. Game over. Choo-choo. Lady Engineers will take the train back to Owensboro. Estill County four peats, 9-3 over Jenkins. Here's your tournament MVP, junior pitcher, McKeeley Muncy. Um, I'm, it's just, a, it's, I don't know, it's an amazing feeling. Um, I'm glad that I can come on the field and take Michaela's spot and be here for my team. Take the seniors to the state again. I just tell them that that we, um, we've got a big tradition here and we've got to keep it up, you know, we just say, and I get talent, just crazy talent all the time, so I'm just a lucky girl. <laughs> a rematch of the 2013 Region Championship in the 15th tonight, Johnson Central and McGoffin County. It doesn't take long for Central to touch the dish. Rachel Fairchild belts a double to the fence and left. Lauren Preston scores, make it one nothing. Lady Eagles in the first. Bottom third now, Fairchild at the plate again. Flies one to right. Okay, she's out. But Lauren DeLong tags up and scores. Make it a 2-0 game now, Johnson Central. And that would be more than enough for tournament MVP Mikaela Pierce. A complete game shutout for Pierce. Five strikeouts, only one hit allowed. Johnson Central will defends its title, beating McGoffin County 2-0. Our pitcher was fantastic. First of all, our defense was playing great, so we knew if we got some kind of lead, uh, we, we had a chance, and hopefully we could build on it. We didn't get to, uh, but uh, you know, coming to this game, we knew pitching was huge for us and defense. Our bats have been uh, lackluster to say the least the last couple weeks, for whatever reason. But I figured we'd break out, but we didn't. But it's a it's a great to go back to back. Uh, it's the first time we've done that back to back, so good to get this group back down to the state tournament. All right, meanwhile, picking up from last night, the 13th region had to postpone softball semifinal game number two, move to tonight, and the defending champs take care of business. South Laurel defeats Middlesbrough 8-2. The Lady Cardinals are in the championship game tomorrow night, and take a look, it sets up to be an all-Laurel County title game, just like baseball. North-South for the right to go west to Owensboro. The one time the two played in the regular season this year, the Lady Cards beat the Lady Jacks 14 to 9, so a rematch 65 days later from that first game. Winner goes to the state tournament this time. First pitch at 6:30 tomorrow night at Corbin. The winner will play 15th region champ Johnson Central in the first round at the state tournament. Meanwhile, East Jessman beats Rockcastle County 5 to nothing in the 12th region championship tonight. Rock was going for its first ever region title in the 12th region tonight, but East Jessman just so, so good this year. The Jaguars blank the Rock as 5 to nothing. They will play Estill County in the first round of the state tournament. Now to baseball. Johnson Central trying to go back to back and win yet another region title. The team, the Golden Eagles, have to get through, though, Lawrence County. Travis Feltner and the Bulldogs, they haven't been to state since 2011. 15th region title game. Here we go. Tied at three in the third. Look at the play by Jordan Blanton. He did this last night. Great defense. Guns down Austin Bailey at the plate. That keeps the game all tied up. Let's go bottom four now. Peyton Cyrus. Well, he's down the bunts. Tucker Jennings can't field it. Leadoff man on board for Lawrence County. Three batters later, Zach Kazee grounds one past the third baseman into left field. Cyrus, go, no, go, yes, go, go. That gives the Bulldogs a 4-3 lead, and Lawrence County is headed to Lexington for the state baseball tournament. Bulldogs 6-3 over Johnson Central. We've been in the region since 06. We've played them in the regional finals four times. Tonight evened it up. We're two to two, and we've got nothing but respect for Coach Sean Hall and Johnson Central. They're, they're an unbelievable baseball program, and, and I think they hold us in that same regard. And They work hard, we work hard, and we knew it was going to be a dogfight. Very proud of our kids and tickled to death for our seniors. 
Let's go to the 14th now. First game from Powell County tonight. 14th region semis, not Central and Perry Central. Resuming play from Tuesday. Pick it up bottom of the fifth, not up 4-3. Uh, let's make it 6-3 real quick. Bristol McGee brings in two runs off of that solo shot to right field. Patriots had all the momentum in the final innings today. The not Central Patriots earn a spot in the 14th region final tomorrow. 6-3 over the Commodores. All right, how about the sunset tonight, by the way? Beautiful in Powell County for the second game. The Pirates and Jackson City meeting up in the semifinal. Top first, Powell County threatening. Mason Hatton lays down the bunt. The Tigers throw home. Ump says, safe. Justin Rogers scores. one nothing early. Pirates, a few batters later, same inning. Powell County drills one in the right. Bradley Stamper be like, I got this one. Guns down the runner. He's out at the plate, but Powell County outlasts the city. 10-0. Pirates are on to the finals. 14th Region Baseball Championship is set. Not Central and Powell County, the two split in the regular season. 8 p.m. first pitch tomorrow night at Powell. Highlights and postgame reacts in the 11 p.m. sportscast. If not Central wins tomorrow, by the way, it'll be the first region championship the Pats have won since 1993. 12th Region Baseball semifinals tonight at Wayne County postponed. Southwestern currently leads West Jessamine three to one in the top of the third. Game will continue tomorrow at 5 p.m. and the Garrett and then Garrett County and Mercer County is scheduled for a 7 p.m. first pitch tomorrow night. What a night! Congrats to all the champions moving on to the state tournaments. We'll do it again tomorrow night. We'll be back after this.